I'm Ken. Welcome to Four Wheel Online's News Refresh. The debate between aluminum and steel has been raging on for over a year now. We all know where the big truck brands stand. Ford's been paving the way for aluminum, while GM and Ram have chose to stick with the steel. Recently though, Chevy's turned the fight volatile. Instead of advertising Chevy's new features, they've been knocking Ford and aluminum by calling it weak and unfit for trucks. Now you'd think that's a win-win for Chevy, right? They don't have to spend all the time and money on factory retooling, and they get to distinguish themselves from a metal that some buyers may be unsure about. Except. Chevy has just been caught with their pants down. That's right, someone had better tell the marketing team to stop running those ads because Chevy's going to be using aluminum now too. The Chevy Silverado, made with high strength steel for high strength dependability. Whoops. Seriously, we can't make this shit up. After the entire ad campaign of knocking aluminum, Chevy's now going to start using the material too? Sources from Reuter say that GM will be planning a massive overhaul of their next generation pickups and SUVs, including the use of aluminum to shed the weight and reach the Fed's greater fuel efficiency goals. So yeah, they'll be copying what Ford's been doing and what they've been making fun of for the past year. Just look at this ad where they ask real people if they would rather be in an aluminum cage or a steel cage if they were attacked by a grizzly bear. How do you feel about your choice in cages right now? Huh? Well, I'm glad I picked this cage. Oh, he foamed at the mouth, too. Why did you pick the steel cage over the aluminum cage? I figured it'd be harder for the bear to get in the steel. Would you rather be in the aluminum cage? No. Or check out this ad where they ask a focus group what's wrong with a superhero called Aluminum Man. What do you think about an aluminum superhero? It doesn't sound very strong because like I could crush an aluminum can in my hand. It would be really cool if he like lived like in a land of like trash, you know, so anytime he gets like hurt, he can like reconstruct himself. Now, I would never make a superhero out of aluminum if I was serious about it. Why? It just doesn't make sense. It was like Platinum Man or something. Okay, he's got some strength going on there. The only real advantage that aluminum has is that it's not very corrosive, so this guy may not rust. I think, it's I think it's a trade-off. You have rust proof. <laughs> I would rust. worry so much more about bullets than rust as a superhero. Y'all got a trailer? Let me see a trailer. Well, it looks like that focus group was ignored. Now, it wasn't necessarily a bad idea for Chevy to wait to make the switch. After all, Ford's F-150 sales have hit a slump due to factories needing to be retooled to work with aluminum. Except Chevy didn't just sit and wait to see how aluminum turned out. They had to start talking shit too, didn't they? Well, now it's gonna cost them more than just their pride. Jim is investing $877 million into their Flint, Michigan plant to turn it into a full-size aluminum building plant. You can bet that they're gonna run into the same issues that Ford had when they tried to retool for aluminum as well. Now, I guess all those marketing efforts are gonna help Ram instead, who is still planning on sticking with steel in their trucks going on down the line. But what do you think about Chevy's switcheroo? Does it make them look like hypocrites? Or was GM wise to wait and see how aluminum tech in trucks would go? You can let us know what truck brand you support or hate in the comments below. Chevy going aluminum is the biggest truck story this week, but be sure to subscribe to the latest 4x4 news and hit up 4 Wheel Online for all your automotive needs. And remember, if you have a badass rig that you've been working on, send us pictures, videos, and all of the details to Modified Rides at 4 Wheel Online, and we'll show it off on our channel. I'm Ken, and you've just been refreshed.